What's up, y'all? I want to speak on this dude, man. We know it's a lot of youngsters out here, and a lot of them didn't have fathers. They didn't. They didn't have the proper guidance that they needed. But this dude, Bandman Kevo, Kevo, however you pronounce his name. <clears throat> If some of y'all don't know, he just recently got a, a tattoo on his thigh. A tattoo on his thigh of Donald Trump. Donald Trump's mugshot. He got a tattoo of Donald Trump's mugshot on his thigh. Talking about making America great again. But... Prior to that, I don't know how long ago it was, but he had he he had got a White Lives Matter tattooed on his wrist. On, I think it was on the inside of his wrist. I don't know what the deal is with this guy. You know, I don't have nothing against what he stands for and what he supports. I don't have nothing against White Lives Matter. Um, I actually probably I probably have more of a problem with Black Lives Matter than White Lives Matter because it just the propaganda and the scams that are being ran behind that Black Lives Matter stuff. You know, all I see is mostly angry, masculine hating black women and the whole LGBTQ plus community behind that agenda. But they don't incorporate everybody as a whole. They don't incorporate good, hardworking men. They label all, they put all one, all men in one category, one label deadbeat, no good, whatever the case may be. So Black Lives Matter support just women and the LGBTQ plus community while leaving black men out. And White Lives Matter, White Lives Matter or is just was something created to def defend and uplift white lives uh, as a counterattack to Black Lives Matter because they, they felt disrespected that they have to keep hearing black lives matter. So they're like, hey, well, white lives matter, all lives matter. So when I put myself in other people's shoes, it can be annoying and it can feel disrespectful to other people when they keep hearing, not me, but just us say black lives matter all the time. But this dude, Bandman Cavo, has to be the biggest goofball in hip hop. I don't know who raised this dude. I don't know where they found him from. I, if I had to, if I don't know any better, I felt like this man came from out of a laboratory. I felt like they cloned this guy. They, they, they put this guy together. They manufactured this dude. You know, I never, under, I never trusted any man. I don't care what race you are. And I'm not saying that I have something against men who choose to do this, but I just have a real issue and I have a lack of trust for any man who is a grown man and has not one bit of facial hair on his face. Van Man Cabo has not one whisker, no mustache, no goatee, no beard, no nothing. It's like, bruh, do you even grow facial hair? Who, who raised you? Where did they find you, sir? How could you be so comfortable Every day, getting up every day, shaving your face bald like a baby. You're not a baby. Grow up, man. Why you can't grow one piece of facial hair on your face? What are you hiding? What is, what's missing from that situation? Why is it that Bandman Cable has never... Why have we, I have to maybe look at some old pictures. Because I don't want to get ahead of myself. But ever since this man has been known... Or, or has gotten his shine and became a celebrity. This man has always been floating around like he's, you know, if, I mean, I'm sorry, bro. The only, the only two things I think of when I see someone who has not one bit of facial hair on their face is that you're in a, you're in the police force, you're in the military, you work for a job where they require you to, to shave all your facial hair off, or you're a pedophile. Or you you in the closet. <clears throat> now, usually there's a lot of men that 
are like trans or cross dressers and they keep their face shaved very, you know, smooth. So, you know, if they need to go switch their gender or if they need to disguise themselves or become a woman, then you wouldn't, maybe they can fool somebody and they wouldn't know if you were a man or a woman or they wouldn't know that you're a man. But Batman Cable, you're supposed to be from Chicago. You're supposed to be from a rough neighborhood. You're supposed to be this thug. Why is it that you always have to shave every bit of hair off your face every damn day? Something is up with that. That's very fishy to me. I'm not saying I have anything against a man who has no facial hair, but when you a brother and you in the hip hop industry, you come out of Chicago, that's very suspect. You ain't getting no pass for that. I would see if you was a white dude or a Hispanic dude and you a cop, you were in the military or you work a, a you know big time job where it requires you to, to shave your face. I totally understand that. But this dude, Batman Cavo, you ain't getting no pass from me, bro. And now that you on this, you, first you go with this White Lives Matter stuff. This you you get you okay. It's one thing to support that or, or be to side with that, but to tattoo it on your your uh, body, that's a form of cooning, sir. That's a form of selling out. And then for you to put Donald Trump on your thigh, talking about make America great again. When was America great? Let's be real. When was America great? When it was enslaving people. When they was torturing people, lynching people? Or are you talking about like right after the civil rights movement when Martin Luther King, after Martin Luther King was gunned down? When was America great? Come on now. This has been, maybe it's been improving. America has been improving. It's been making strides. It's a big old melting pot now. And we have all these other different races. And there's other races of people that are trying to fight for their rights here in this country too. And the discrimination against them. But to say make America great again is a slap in a lot of people's faces. So I don't I don't support Biden saying keep America great. He's an idiot for saying that. And Trump is an idiot for saying make a, make America great again. Because then you got to explain yourself and say, OK, so explain. The term make America great again. When was America great? What At what point in time? What time frame are you talking about? What timeline are you talking about of America's uh, time of, of being in existence or being an actual country or corporation? When was it great for humanity? Yes, we have a lot more things and resources than other countries, third world countries or whatever the case may be. But the structure and the system, come on, dog, stop it. This dude, Batman Cavo, bro, I don't know who supports this dude, but if you support somebody like him, you are the problem. You are the person that's the problem in this world because we don't need no black man like him being of any inspiration to any young people. A man that comes off as a thug, acts like it, but he's real zesty. Feminine, he do weird stuff. He he tattoos a a, a white man's ta a face, his mug, a white man's mugshot on his thigh, of all places. Like if you're gonna tattoo Donald Trump on your body, why would it be your thigh? Like that's got to be the most suspect stuff ever. I remember when I used to live in Houston, the women used to have like the little. Uh, the, the the chicks out there they like tattoos, so it'd be a lot of females tattooed up in Houston. Shout out to Houston. And they like to have the little dripping fruit on their thigh. It's like a strawberry, cherry, you know, whatever, whatever fruit of their choice. And they'll have their name with that fruit dripping on their thigh. But Batman Cavo feels like, oh, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Donald Trump on my thigh. Make America great again. Man, who raised this dude, dog? Where did y'all find him? What laboratory did y'all make that boy in? Did y'all clone him? Is he a clone? Is he a real life clone? Because ain't no way. Ain't no way this man could be roaming around everybody with not one whisker on his face. Talking about white lives matter and make America great again with Donald Trump's tattoo, his mugshot on his thigh. Man, get the fuck out of here.